This tutorial video will concern performing a network analysis, creating a service area based on transit time. Service areas are regions that Network Analyst creates around point features based on the parameters that you input to this service area tool. As with all Netlist Network Analyst operations, there are many ways to adjust the parameters of your service area. In this demonstration, we will create two sets of service areas using only drive time and walk time as our parameters. The first service area analysis will constitute all regions of Tacoma, Washington that are within a 1, 5, and 10 minute drive of a fire station. The second service area analysis will constitute all regions of Tacoma, Washington that are within 1, 5, and 10 minute walk of a WIC retailer, and WIC stands for Women's, Infants, and Children. In this step, we'll work with Network Analyst Extension using two different sets of tools. The first part of this step will work with Network Analyst Toolbar and Network Analyst Window. In the second part of this step, we'll work through Network Analyst Toolbox in Arc Toolbox. In my map, I'm going to activate the fire station service areas because this is where I'm going to perform this analysis or the first analysis I should say. I'm going to add my TAC network either by using the add data button or I can just slide this over to the data frame and it asks if I want to all the feature classes that participate I'm going to say yes and all of the information is transferred over. To make this visible or more easily to understand, I'm just going to show tax streets at this point. And right now I have this area wide because I wanted to be able to show what was going on. But now that I've done that, I can make this a little bit bigger. I still want to be able to get back to my data over here just in case. For tax streets, I'm just going to change that to a... 30% gray and a one width is what it already has. I'm now going to add my fire station data by simply grabbing it and dragging it over above the streets. These are the facilities that we'll use. And we're going to turn off the layer so that it is the not displayed on our map. First thing I need to do is find the network analyst toolbar. I'm going to do that by customize toolbars network analyst. And the network analyst toolbar, which is right here, is added to my map. I'm going to stick it up right there so it's easily accessible. The toolbar consists of several items. A drop down menu from which I can select the type of analysis that I'm conducting. A show and hide network analyst window button. It's right here. There's a create network location tool and then a select move networks location tool a solve button directions window button a menu from which you select the network data set which is right here there is a network identity tool button and a build network data set button first thing I'm going to do is click on this button, the Show and High Network Analyst window, and I'm actually going to pull that out so that it's up front and center and easy to see. Doing this opens the window next to the Arc Toolbox window, and again, I moved it. Most of the analysis that we conduct with Network Analyst will occur either in this window or the Network Analyst toolbar, which is just above it. The first step when conducting any network analysis is to create a new analysis layer. 
The analysis layer contains all of the features that participate in the network analysis that we're performing. For this step, we'll be creating a service area. So we'll need to create a new service area layer. To do so, on the Network Analyst toolbar, cl click the Network Analyst drop-down menu and click New Service Area. And a new service area pops in. Two things happen. A group layer shows up in the table of contents and it's called Service Area. Group layers are used to organize multiple layers that are somehow connected. In this case, all of the layers that are created will be part of the service area analysis. A network analyst group layer is initially at least empty. Since no analysis has been got conducted, there are no data to fill the layers. The second item is in the network analyst window, service area appears in the main drop-down menu and several attributes now appear below it. Facilities, polygons, lines, and point barriers, all with zeros next to them. Before beginning our analysis, we'll rename the service area layer, the one that we just created, and adjust a few properties as needed. To rename this layer or to adjust any of the service area layer properties, in the network analyst window, we select the service area which is already selected by default and then click on the service area properties. The layer properties dialog for the layer that we've selected displays. With the layer properties dialog open click the general tab and change the layer name to fire stations dash drive time. From here we'll click the analysis settings. We're going to change the impedance to drive time minutes. In the default breaks section we're going to add 1, 5, and 10 minutes. Nothing is needed between them, just a single space. No commas, no parentheses. We need to confirm that directions is set to away from a facility, which it is, away from facility. And adjust the settings for U-turns at junctions to allowed only at intersections at dead ends. And be sure that ignore invalid locations is checked, which mine is. The adjustments that we made here will result in the following type of analysis. Network analysts will calculate, based on drive time, the regions of Tacoma that are within 1 minute, 5 minutes, and 10 minutes of the facilities used for the analysis, which are the fire stations we'll add next. Now click OK. Before we can perform the service area analysis, we must load a set of facilities into the service area layer. Notice that there are zero next to the facility as facilities attribute of this service area layer in the network analyst window. That means that if we were to perform the analysis, the analysis would calculate a service area for zero locations or zero facilities. We'll now add the fire stations to the service area layer so that network analyst creates service areas around each area. With fire stations drive time selected from the drop down menu, right click on facilities zero in the network analyst window and click add locations. and it appears that Network Analyst is not responding. It seems to be working now. I'll click on Load Locations. In the Load Locations dialog that opens, I'm going to choose Tech Fire Stations from the Load From 
drop down area. Tech fire stations. There is no need for a sort field and we can re leave the rest of the properties in the dialog at their default settings. The properties that we are not adjusting in this step are used to produce a more complex network analysis, which is beyond the scope of this quick demo. For more information beyond what I'm demonstrating in this demonstration, I suggest that you explore Network Analyst section of the ArcGIS manual in the Help dialog or that's available online. I'm going to click OK and 14 facilities or fire stations show up in the network analyst window. If I move the network analyst window out of the way, they show up as points, very large points on the map. In the table of contents, we have error, located, and unlocated. Since, since we've used an existing point data set, all of my facilities, fire stations, have been located on the map. They're all blue, as shown with, with the key. Once the facilities have loaded, we're ready to run the service area analysis, which in Network Analyst means that we are ready to solve the analysis layer that I've created. To do so, be sure that the fire stations drive time layer is active in the fires in the network analyst window and then I'll click the solve button in the network analyst toolbar before I click it the solve just be aware that the solve operation may take a few minutes depending on your computer I'm going to pause while it completes. The analysis has completed. I'm going to put my network analyst window over there, shrink down my table of contents, and unpin the catalog, and then I'm going to zoom to layer. After Network Analyst finishes the solve operation, results from the service area analysis will be visualized as three polygons, classified as 1, 5, and 10. We'll find these polygons in the table of contents in the Fire Station's Drive Time group layer. And there they are. Fire Station's Drive Time. I'll open that up a little bit. Fire Station's Drive Time, and here are the polygons 1, 5, and 10. By turning off the facilities, it is easier to see the result of the analysis. Open the, I'm going to open the attribute table for the polygons layer. Shrink it a bit so we can see it. Each row in the table represents a polygon. There should be a name field, a from break field, and a to break field in addition to three other fields over here. These fields represent one, the facility around which the polygon was drawn, two, the range of drive times represented by this polygon, for example, five, ten, etc which means that anyone living inside this particular polygon would be within a 10 minute drive of a fire station. Or Select one of the 5 to 10 minute polygons and view it on your map. I'm going to click on it and zoom to. I'm going to slide this out of our way. Notice that it covers an explicit area, a detail that is lost when all of the 5 to 10 minute polygons are symbolized using the same color. 
However, since all 5 to 10 minute polygons and 1 to 5 minute polygons and 0 to 1 minute polygons are symbolized using the same color, a map reader is immediately aware of access patterns in Tacoma. This polygon layer is a temporary layer, meaning that it cannot be shared with other people or used in other map analyses. The reason that the polygon layer is temporary is so that you may adjust your analysis settings and rerun the service area analysis. For example, you may want to increase your default breaks from 1, 5, and 10 minutes to 10, 20, and 30 minutes, and then perform a new solve operation, which would result in a new set of polygons in the polygon layer. Once you're satisfied with your analysis and would like to create a permanent set of polygons, you can export this layer to create a new feature class using the Data Export Data tool from the right-click contextual menu in the table of contexts. Doing so would make your poly polygon layer accessible by other people or in other analyses. And I'm going to do that now by right-clicking Polygons, Data, Export Data. I'm going to export not the selected features, but all features. And I'm going to place it in my Lab 6 folder of my user ID folder of my data folder in my geodatabase feature data set and call this one Fire Station Analysis and I'm going to click Save and OK and for now, I don't think I need it, although I will just add it just for the sake of having it. And notice it shows up as a non-symbolized layer. I'm going to clear my selection so that that can disappear. That is a quick demo of using the Network Analyst Toolbar and the Network Analyst Window to perform a service area analysis. There will be another video, or there is another video available, uh, using different tools to perform similar functions.